Warning, the following content may not be suitable for all viewers. We have seen a lot at crime scene cleaning over the years, but this truly was the saddest tour that we've ever had to clean. Child Protective Services was called and informed of the situation. Please always check on your loved ones. If you or anyone you know is going through anything, contact 1-800-662-HELP. We're here at the Horde out here in Lakeland, Florida. About to go ahead and get started with the cleanup process. We're tossing anything that's like obvious trash, anything that's like kids toys, Pokemon cards, spatulas, kitchen stuff, is getting saved. Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. How you doing guys? Um, we're here at the Horde out here in Lakeland, Florida. About to go ahead and get started with the cleanup process. We already got two technicians inside and after we're finished, we're gonna be doing a deep clean of the whole house. It actually doesn't look like a big house, but it is a big house. It's a four bedroom, two bathroom. From the outside, looks can be deceiving, but um, we're gonna go ahead inside. We're gonna get to it, get our process going. We gotta be quick, fast, and hurry on this one, but meticulous at the same time. So for all you guys watching at home, we're gonna get to it. We'll see you in a bit. Don't leave like household trash, but we're saving all of the clothes that we find all of the shoes, all the electronics, cores like inhalers, medicines, stuff like that. But anything else that's just regular household trash, we're just gonna be getting rid of and disposing. Like obviously in the garage, you're gonna find tools, vacuums, brooms, cleaners and stuff like that. So we'll save those as well. But other than that, just gonna get organized, cleaned up, pick up all the trash and stuff, and we'll go from there. Have you ever wanted to become a crime scene cleaner like me? Well, now you can. Spalding Decon has put together a variety of courses that can teach you everything you need to know about becoming a crime scene cleaner. We'll explain everything on how to get crime scene cleaning jobs, how to clean up biohazard and hordes. Click the link in our bio and use promo code CHITTY for 10% off. And CHITTY is spelled C-H-I-T-T-Y. Thanks. Find the stuff on the floor and save it, she says. Okay, I will save it. Canadian two dollar piece. Oh, it's a dollar. <laughs> yeah.
like a brand new garage in our opinion. From what it was as we first walked in to what it is now, this is a complete 180 in my opinion. So this room, I'm just gonna kind of work my way to the back corner. Um, I'm just gonna start with some of the nastier trash, like the diaper or things like that, uh, soiled linen, stuff like that. Um, sorting the clothes, because the homeowner wants to keep the clothes, so we're gonna bag the clothes so she can wash them. Um, and I'm just kind of gonna work here and go both directions and kind of get as much up as I can, or everything up really, if that's trash. feces that was strong because you know, little kids pick up the toilet brush that has stuff on it from a dirty toilet and just flung it and you can see that went all over so we're just gonna hit it with shockwave and wipe it if that doesn't work then we're gonna use simple green and then it'll come off and it'll be good Steve Wolf here, just wanted to let you guys know we are currently working on the Lakeland house here. This was a stage three, stage four, a little bit of a mixture. What makes it a mixture between the three and the four is the sheer size of this house and how it is so, um, it's so spread out. This would typically be a four in a smaller house, three in a, in a larger house. So that's why it's a little bit in between the two of them. Um, what you will not find in this house is not a lot of structural damage here, but there is a lot of content spread out. Um, but we're moving quite a, we're moving along very well. Um, we have all of the bedrooms and the garage done. We're fin finishing up the master bedroom right now. Um, and then we'll start working on the common areas to get those set. But the reason why we start with the bedrooms is we want 
as we know this is a multiple day project, we want to make sure that their living spaces, their creature comfort spaces are taken care of first. Hey guys, day one wrapped up at the Lakeland Horde. Like I said, this is a level three, level four. The reason why it is a level three is the size of the house and everything is uh, spread out, the contents are. This would be a level four in a smaller home. Um, we got all the, the bedrooms semi-fairly clean. What I mean by semi-fairly clean is, I don't know, but what we did was we picked up most of the contents. We still gotta do some deep cleaning. Wipe the, uh, wash the floors, the walls, stuff like that straighten some things out but contents are removed in all the bedrooms to straighten up coming into the the living room straightened up a lot of that stuff the homeowner came home um, around three o'clock was a little bit frantic because things were a little bit um, out of out of disorder from what they're used to because their things were cleaned up neat and tidy something that we deal a lot with with hoarders even though we're cleaning up the house is sometimes they like the organized chaos that there is and when we come in and disrupt that organized chaos they come a little little bit frantic about it we are able to settle that through some conversation talking to them and, and um, letting them know that we're here we'll help them find whatever they feel they can't they can't locate we're able to find one of the items that they were looking for um, and they were able to move on with their day very very happily um, we'll be back tomorrow for day two so stay tuned Hey, good morning guys. So day two out here um, of this deep clean hoard here. So today we are focusing on the kitchen and the living room area. So we're gonna get all of the trash and the clothing items up. We're gonna separate, we're gonna make sure it's all good. And then we're gonna start our deep clean process and hopefully finish it all today. If not, we'll, we'll, it'll travel a little bit into tomorrow, but we'll get it done. We gotta get all the clothes picked up and sorted inside of this dining room kitchen area. Um, after we get all the clothes sorted, it's mainly from what it looks like, just toys and trash. So we can pick up the toys, stage them in an opposite area, and then pick up and bag all of the trash. And just... Yeah, so this little trash can that was inside of the kitchen had a bunch of gnats, little maggots inside. Just the smell in general, it, it's, I have on my, my N95 and it, it still found a way to seep through the mat. Yeah, so basically we're tossing anything that's like obvious trash, um, anything that's like kids' toys, Pokemon cards, uh, spatulas, kitchen stuff is getting saved um, because it's not garbage. So um, the homeowner wants all that stuff saved, obviously, so we're doing that. So we're sorting for it. Also, as well as clothing, any clothing items that we do find, we are making sure we separate those appropriately.
Taking my time, but getting them done. Make sure, go fast enough to get it done quick, but also paying attention to detail and make sure I don't, you know, miss any spots. Make sure they're actually clean and sanitized. Cutting out a lot of abandoned numbers, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna move it into the garage. Then. Yeah, that's the two here so we have finished the living room um, and we have finished the kitchen for the most part of all the big bulk of trash and dirt and everything so tomorrow for the for the first half of tomorrow will be the deep clean the rest of the deep clean portion we should begin done we knocked out most of the dishes um, got the refrigerator cleaned worked the entire you know like I said the living room the dining tables so should be able to finish up tomorrow and it's gonna look real good guys don't forget to like share subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode for more information visit any of our locations